new branches. So it's been it's like a sky crane. And so this is intricate and Mars is hard to land. But it's an amazing boat. How, what's the gravity effect with respect to the gravity on Earth? Oh, that, that's very interesting. I, I, um, I, 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 the moon is one sixth. Mars, Mars has, has a little more than that, that I, I would believe. I can't, I can't say exactly because I don't have any in my mind right now. now. That's an excellent question. question. It depends upon the mass, mass of Mars and the radius. Mm -hmm. Those are the two things that go into surface gravity computations. So the moon, in fact, has one sixth of Earth's gravity. And I would suspect that um, that yeah, Mars itself is, is, is somewhere in between the two. There, there is, is one thing that I do want to get to, to and explain just a little ahead. bit further. Please. In the news, there are very young people and who are the writing books who have said that they witnessed heaven and saw Jesus. And in this book, in parallel universes, those are the experiences that I had as a child. Wow. It's fascinating to see them from, I was a child at the time, from the young people who report these things. But it is quite an experience to hear it from the scientists. Mm. And parallel, that is what parallel universes is about. I did visit heaven, I did see Jesus, I did see Christian miracles. And as a scientist, we just don't go for any ideas. As scientists, we have our ideas stand up to rigid tests, and I can think of no other explanation after eight years of consideration that what I saw was anything but what it was that I actually What an amazing experience. Yes. And so I have lived a remarkable life, and science and religion, I hope, will be both manifested in one person and that my life story by sharing it will inspire Christians, will um, interest scientists, and that I, perhaps my life story is a leading ground between the two. Beautiful. What, what I get from what you're saying is the more we find out, the more this exploration that you've been on proves to be true. Absolutely. The more we find out, the more in awe of the universe we are. With everything we learn in science, we are humbled by how much we do not know. And indeed, indeed, when you see enough data and incredible pictures from the Hubble Space Telescope, you are moved to awe. And truly, truly, in my, my heart, I feel that this is a glorious universe. Do you feel that the, what the results of this uh, latest trip to Mars that's planned on Saturday yeah. could bring up some facts which will revolutionize everything? And I think you've said that, but what are some of the things that you think might come up with, this, uh, with the results? I think the results will tell us whether or not there is um, the building blocks of life that we think are necessary. They will test that. They're not actually testing for life right now. They're testing to see what happened back in those days when Viking said, no organic material here? And I think no organic compounds, nothing. So I think that it might clear that up and point us in a direction to solve some other mysteries. There's methane coming from Mars, and we don't know. It, it, should, it should be gone, it, it, but it, it continues. It could ind indicate geologic processes still going. It could indicate lo subsurface life, many scientists on Earth believe that, that there is a great potential that for subsurface life in the caves on Mars, beneath the surface where there is where the potentially liquid water. So I think that it will lead us in a direction that we need to go. It's a first step. These are these are our first steps to a better and fuller understanding of our universe, our glorious universe. Mm -hmm. I have a friend that's in the scientific field that worked at GPL, G, JPL, and he asked me to ask you a question, and that's if we were in, in a, an expanding universe, uh, will it one day collapse? There are people in the camp that say, indeed, it is a cyclic universe. Even though not only are we expanding, we are, that expansion is accelerating, and that is the Nobel Prize was awarded for that work to okay. determine that just this year. So, indeed. There, is a, there are people who will say you'll just continue to expand and have a big rip. There are many, many believers in, um, from parallel universe theories that say 
that the universe might be sickly. And ah, that. sickly. Yes. Expand, collapse, expand, collapse. Correct. Linda, thank you very much for yes. being here. Is there any last word that you want to express? Yes, Parallel Universes is available now on Amazon.com and um, based on, on my name uh, and with, with a note by Ray Bradbury, and I hope that you'll look for it there, and I hope that you'll, your faith will truly be renewed and inspired, your Christian faith, as well as your interest in science. It is an amazing world. And there's so much for young people to discover, and we need them in science desperately. Wow. Thank desperately. you very much, Linda. Thank you.